but now I still can't go anywhere. Like, what the hell's up? And so I'm actually looking up. Like, I got like I got this uh, thing to show me kind of where to go. I got the swarm traps all over my fucking self. And um, I might pause this video. We're breaking into parts. I'm not sure. I like just this. Like, I decided to do a little something different, more of a commentated first-person VOD showing you how I do kind of how I do this kind of shit and I really wanted to showcase that brawler is not useless like how can it be useless if you do constant 9999 damage you do this as much damage as you would with the great sword and I'll show you really why maybe people just don't understand why it does so much damage or how brawler does damage so maybe I'll talk I'll say something about that Again, I'm just, I'm taking off that, the, I took off the rose, what were they called? I took off the stupid amber armlets now because I don't need it to do my damage, really. And, um, I'll show you why. Let's see if you can see, I might have to zoom. That didn't help, alright. Basically, my strength on Vaughn is 99. My strength on Bosch, 99. My strength on Ash, 95. That's huge. With the Grand Armor and the Mage Power Shizak on all my guys, it makes their strength, like, fucking clocked at max. So, doesn't really matter what I use or what I don't use, I'll fucking always be doing crazy damage. And let's hope this is the right way. I want to show you guys here. Um, I might have to pause it. Let's fight these monsters first more boons they have tons of health I'll show you oh I still don't have oh that's what I was gonna do I was gonna do Libra to show you the damage or the health on these guys and they do a lot of damage you saw that 2500 yeah they have tw they have 28,000 health these guys and the dragon lich has 31,000 these are pretty strong. Ash died apparently, so Bosch is gonna cast a rise. I see explosions, but I see them dying as well. Usually the ghosts appear after you killed all the boons in the room, it seems. Uh wow, Bosch is really like a fail. Bosch is like a fail spellcaster when it comes to saving the party. Usually I have Vaughn as my tanker, but right now I'm using Bosch as my tanker so Vaughn can use Berserk, so I can use Berserk on Vaughn. But the thing is, Bosch is horrible at casting the magic. Like, when he needs to heal the party, like, right away, he won't do it, or he fucking, like, doesn't, he's not, it doesn't heal enough and they just die anyway. But uh, if you have Vaughn, Vaughn is a kind of a hybrid spellcaster slash main hero attack like his attack power is fucking really high naturally Bosch's attack power is really high naturally one of the highest and uh but Vosh's magic power is also pretty good all right I'll show you this monster this is the dragon lich as you can see at the top left he's weak against holy which doesn't matter to me that means you could use holy on him I do, I do have holy but it's but whatever it looks like <laughs> Ash is already ready to run in there and fucking I'm gonna use he's ready to kick some ass but yeah uh, I use Siphon on Vaughn and then let them run in and kill it and they really can't like this guy is strong yes he does have good spells as well oh I think they're oh what is this here oh yeah these black orbs mean something if I looked at the walkthrough kind of thing for this area it would show me what to do, but I'm really just kind of running around showing you the monsters, not really doing the mission. Or the hunt. It's actually a hunt, and he's supposed to be a really strong monster, and he's way late in this dungeon. Like, he's deep in the dungeon. And I'm just kind of showing you the base of the dungeon, trying to teach a little bit of knowledge about this game. If you like these kind of Let's Plays, I probably am going to do a couple more. Or, if, well, I don't know, depending on... Well, you guys do like it. <laughs> it seems you guys, I get a lot of, I put my 
videos up like yet yeah, like a maybe within this week and I already have like hundred views like in total on all my on those videos and it's been like a day I was like what that's pretty sick and yeah I got another swarm trap look this frog guy tries to come up from behind and kill me that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen and I got a level so that's gonna happen and yeah keep kicking keep kicking here's another guy coming up from behind to try and uses stupid spells and as you can see you get a lot of experience from these guys when you're using the embroidered tippet which is my favorite item basically it doubles the experience points earned that is fucking crazy to put in a game like you double the experience points earned as you can see all my guys are using it and they always should be throughout the whole game you should always be using these items on all your guys at once why wouldn't you? You fucking get double the experience. Like, that's fucking amazing. But, like, there are some situations like boss fights and hunts where you do want to switch up your gear because, like, they do tricky shit. Sometimes you... They'll, like, they'll, they help, they'll have sleep gun, stop gun, uh, blind gun. They will... They'll silence you. They'll fucking... You, you have to be able to cure all that shit at once. But, yeah. Alright, there's some items that, like, make you like naturally immune to certain status effects so so like the situ if the situation comes up where someone's gonna use disable ga and you want your party to be attacking obviously disable makes you not able to attack so you fucking just use uh... the item that makes you um, immune to disable and then it'll never work on you and yeah i'm getting out of this area because this video is pretty long and uh... I think I gave you quite a good taste of how brawlers used and um, how to how your items that get your strength high like really can affect you. Like you saw in the last video that I got three grand armors. I yet I use them on all my guys because it pumps your strength up. It make gives you lots of more strength and huge defense, the most defense in the game from an armor. And then this. Mage Power Shizhack, or Shizik, whatever. They, it, this also increases your strength when you use it. And so when you use it together, it doesn't even matter. You could use no weapon at all, and you'll still be cranking out the 9,999 damage. So that's fucking pretty interesting, and uh, I think it's... I think it's really good in this game how they made it, because a lot of the games that tried to introduce kind of a brawler slash monk kind of thing... It kind of failed, like, some some work, but I thought, it, like, people are saying that it's so much worse in this game, and don't bother doing it. Don't bother even putting the point in the license board. Like, why? That's dumb. And anyway, I'm saving the game, I don't know. This video's over, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Brawler is amazing, fucking double as fast as great swords, e equal in strength, easily, and, uh, yeah... As you can see, all my guys have 9,900, or, uh, yeah, 9,999 health, even my, uh, caster healer. And that's because Bubble. Bubble cranks your, your hit points. It doubles your hit points. Bub the Bubble spell doubles your entire, your max hit points. And since I only, I already have over 5,000 hit points with all my characters, Bubble automatically makes my health go to 9,999. And again, you can't do more than 9,999 damage with one hit, and you can't have more than 9,900 damage. Uh, you can't have more than 9,999 health. You can't have that much health either. Like, I was like, oh, why don't I just crank my health up to, like, 6,000 max health when it's really pointless? Because when you use bubble, you can't, you're, like, it's not like you go, could go up to 12,000 health. You, you'll only stay at 9,999. That's kind of even. You don't want your guys ridiculously strong. I see what they were kind of trying to do. Again, uh, yeah, Bosch casting Haska, and uh, later, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.